I hope that this content right here is motivating you to get into the gym. Give yourself time, make time, and get in there and take care of your physical self care. So mind the body and the business that pay you and invest in you. And once again, baby, that is you. Yeah, it's giving a little 90s, little Janet Jackson, little something, something. You know what I'm saying? I had to release them Michael Jacksons, baby. They was tight. You're going to have to divorce, separate, in the relationship with your old mindset and deposit a new mindset. I'm a ginger love mommy. I love Suja cold fresh juices. They're so good. I'm a stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, Hey, hey, what's up with it? What's going on? It's your girl Nelly here from Nelly Side Recipes back with another daily vlog. I woke up Wednesday and just decided I felt like vlogging because I had some errands to run and some adulting to do. So I was like, let me take y'all with me, pick up the camera and just, you know, make it do what I do and put these little clips together. OK, if you are a returning viewer slash supporter. Hey, welcome back. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button, comment, liking and sharing. And if you are new, hey, if you like the vibe, you like what's going on. Comment, like, share, and subscribe, and let's get into this daily vlog. It felt good to sleep in today. I honestly do not know if this Essence Deep Puff Eye Cream is doing anything. I love how smooth it is. I love the serum. I just love the way it feels on my skin and under my eyes. I love the way it dries down, baby. This Essence, I think it was $3.99 or $4.99. Deep Puff Eye Serum with caffeine and vegan collagen, okay? Baby, I'm vegan, man. I'm vegan, baby. Let me hurry up. I'll see y'all in the car. Like I said, I really do like the Essence Deep Puff Eye Serum, but I don't know if it's doing anything, but it is like hydrating. I love the way it feels. After I wash my face, it'd be so dry, but of course, I gotta add some moisture to it, right? So I came in with my moisturizer, my lip gloss, my aquaphor, my eyebrows, and my lashes. Had to slick my Cleo's back. Get that tame for the next couple of days until I do my hair, clean them ears, and off to the closet. We went to pick out some active wear because I'm going to drop my car off to get service. And while my car is getting service, yes, Nelly Bo is going to the gym, okay? I don't know about y'all, but I do apply some body mist before I go to the gym. And yes, I do spray my booty meat, okay? I got this at DD's for $4.99. Girl, I probably got about five or six items in my closet that are from DD's. All of them are active wear, and I got one cute green shirt, but I came up. It's a good material. I love the way it stretches and feels. I want to say I wore this once already. I think this is the top that I took to Cabo, or it might have been the silverish looking color. But yeah, these are so cute, so comfy. Let me get on up out of here because I'm running late. Bag check, keys check, phone check, ID check, money check, snack check. Yep, seems like I got everything and out the door I went. The air was so cold, crispy, and breezy, but it felt so good. And I love the way that cloud looked. It was so pretty. 7.30. Let's get it. I'm making good time. I thought I was running late, but I'm making good time. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. Happy Women Crush Wednesday. Y'all remember that? What happened? I guess everything come and go, huh? It was a train that left. MCM, WCM. Mm. My only MCM was Chris Brown. Yeah. Back in running days, all the way up until now. Mm hmm. I ain't no damn MCM. Okay. Mm. But I was a couple of WCWs, but I'm still somebody WCW. I'm still a few somebody's WCW. I'm a few WCEs. Women crush every day. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple of sons and nephews out there. If you're watching, hey, these honey crisp apples, baby. If you don't know about them, baby, give with them and see about them, okay? My friend goes, say, when she came to my house, the kids was like, oh, Auntie, Auntie, can we have an apple? She was like, oh, Nelly, can they have an apple? So I'm in the back. I'm like, hold on now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm about to come out. And my friend like, okay, they're going to get an apple. And they, you know, they was like, these apples are big. They're going to split one or whatever. No, first they had an apple each. So I come out. I'm like, hold on now. You know them honey crisp. And then she looks like, oh, girl, you rich. You fancy, girl. These honey crisp, girl, these about $2 a piece. I'm like, girl, they're going to have to split an apple now. Don't be wasting my fent now. Don't be wasting. Mm -mm. 
but they ate it <laughs> and they was like oh auntie these apples are so good she still talk about them apples she'll bring them apples up randomly like you got good apples at your house i'm like girl you remember that kids be remembering everything baby the kids gonna remember okay but okay so right now i am dog walking this apple baby mm, it's so good so i talked about this on the vlog before but i eat raw every day before 11 a.m not every day at least five days a week minimum um i started doing this like december of last year early this year january and i just did it for like a challenge just to do something different and it kind of just rolled over and it's been happening so i'm gonna start eating and talking i've been just ghetto chewing for the last three minutes chewing talking yeah because you know about the money girl yeah I, 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 I apologize. I do. From the bottom of my heart, I mean it. Because chewing and talking, baby, is tacky. I just, I got a little, I got a little hood in me still. It's, but it's a good hood. It's a fun hood. It's a respectful hood. But I do things sometimes. I know this about me. Can nobody tell me about me when it comes to me? Because I know me wholeheartedly, inside and out. I know the future me a little bit. Yeah, I know it pretty good, too. So. I take my car to get service. So while my car is getting service, I am going to go to the gym. I'm going to have them drop me off at the gym because I don't know what gym I want to go to. My car will probably be getting service for about two hours. I really think they'd be taking like 20, 30 minutes, especially when it's not busy. But they just want to call you like just let your car sit. It's like, you don't know what I got to do. Call me the second my car is done. You don't know what I got going on. Don't assume I'm just sitting here waiting on y'all. You know what I'm saying? Call me when my car is done. I really think the car be done in like 20, 30, 40 minutes. And I, it's been times I have pulled up and I'm like, y'all not even booked it busy. Like, how long my car been sitting? Like, I pulled up, my car is washed, vacuum already done, ready. I'm like, so how long is in here? I understand this business. I'm just talking mess. <laughs> I'm kind of annoyed that I cannot find my wireless microphone. So when I want to record my fitness content in real time and talk about how I feel or just hear my breathing or whatever, just to share reality fitness content, because y'all know I'm all about reality in real time, okay? <laughs> but um, I can't find the microphone. And I'm so annoyed about that. Once again, happy Wednesday, happy hump day. You got halfway through the week, baby, keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? If you're almost there to the weekend, but just because it's the weekend don't mean it's time to let your hair down. It might be time for you to get up and handle that business. Yeah, that don't mean it's free time, kick it time. It's investment time. But yeah, I'll let y'all in a minute. Oh, what a day. gonna be a breezy day in the gym. <laughs> this air feels so good on time. them hips viper I'm getting lower and lower every time I do my hip stretch I'm getting lower and lower well not every time like every week come on Nelly stretch them hips baby get flexible
So after I stretch, I like to go straight into ab work here. I'm just laying down, I'm inhaling and exhaling slowly, holding my stomach in. This really stretches out my back and also does a slight ab work exercise for me. I do two to 300 sit-ups every ab session that I do. So let's get into it, baby. styles up to 20 and that's how I get to 200. So I'm gonna do this, do my cardio warm up and then get to my arm and back there. Now that my workout is complete, it's time to do my cardio. I have been doing three to five miles a day of cardio after my workout session. I split that up between the treadmill, the stunt master, and the arc trainer. I'm really proud of myself because I get so bored doing cardio indoors. I'm such an outdoorsy girl. As you can see, I'm on the stunt master with no hands, baby, because, yeah, I'm just like that. But challenge yourself to do it with no hands. Do it without hands for two minutes and hold on for one minute and keep switching that up. But yes, I'm doing really good, sweating real good, baby, and getting to my physical self-care bag. And yes, let's just finish out this cardio, get a good sweat in, and enjoy this workout. I feel so good. I hope that this content right here is motivating you to get into the gym. Give yourself time, make time, and get in there and take care of your physical self-care. Let's finish out this cardio, and I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Hey y'all what's up with it and i'm back so the money was good at the gym baby the workout was so good i literally work out to chase the feeling and to keep my shape in shape to keep my mental going oh my gosh i feel so good my energy is naturally up if you don't know i do not drink coffee i feel amazing the sweat was big dripping baby thighs burning my back feels nice and worked out my arms feel nice and worked out I did the Stairmaster, the Arc Trainer, the Treadmill. The money was good, okay? So now I am at the dealership. Just got to my car, just picked up my car. I was like, hey, y'all didn't call me. He was like, I called you. I called you at 1015. I called you at 1021. He wrote it down. And I'm like, why my phone didn't ring? Ended up getting over here. And um, he was like, I'm gonna call you right now. He was like, I bet it ring because you right here. And he called me and my phone was ringing. I'm like, but you called, huh? I'm like, mm. That's what they all say. They was up in there cracking up. <laughs> they was super cool. I love good customer service. Just down to earth. It ain't got to be cookie cutter by the book. We just chilling, smiling, having a good time, but keeping it professional while we do this transaction. You know what I'm saying? So um, anyways, I'm about to go to the DMV. If the line isn't thick, then I'm going to go in. If not, I'm going to check online because I just looked at my um, driver's license, baby, and they finna expire on my birthday in a couple of weeks. I thought my license expired 2024. I do not have any tickets, so I should be able to just pay and go. But I remember I didn't take the test last year and I thought you had to take the test every other year. So 
going to the DMV, going to the beauty supply, and then, oof, let me get on out here. Sorry, guys. Baby, I have to go ahead hit that gas right quick. Look, I can't jump in front of people going slow. Baby, you mess around and cause an accident, and I will not be the cause of no accident. So I'm going to the DMV. If the line ain't thick and too long, I'm gonna go inside. If not, I'll go home and look online and see if I can just pay to renew my driver's license. I got an email while I was in the gym that my package arrived. I thought it was coming tomorrow, but it came today. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and bust that open. Cause when that package drives. White bricks, white tan bricks. Just hit a lick for 50 more bricks. Man, them package deliveries, man, they be like bricks coming in, okay? I'm gonna go to the beauty supply because I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair for my birthday. I don't know if I want braids, a ponytail, half up, half down. So, yeah, I will holler at y'all in a minute. It ain't nothing to make you want me. It's a tip to your little blonde. I love your smile and the way that you move. Out of the beauty supply dmv was way too crowded i said i'm gonna come home check online and do that and i was hungry anyway so i came straight home and i'm making myself a cauliflower sushi bowl i love making these sushi bowls i usually put avocado in my sushi bowl but the only avocado i had left was not ready to quite bust open yet so yeah did everything but avocado made my green juice on the side and this was lunch while i was eating I got a special delivery, so my packages came. And yeah, let's get straight into this try-on haul. This kit got. pump is so cute, okay? Blue, my favorite color, but unfortunately, they do not fit because my heel is hanging off the back. Thick heels hanging off the back. Oh, these were so cute. Look at this little kit. This was hecka small. <laughs> But I want a cute little pump. I'm in my pump era right now. I wish the heel was like an inch taller, but these are so pretty. Look at that bow on the front, baby. These hecka cute, but unfortunately, they're going back. Oh, return, sad face. Oh, oh, but they gotta go back. So pretty. Okay, these are some other items that I ordered from Macy's. What is this? Oh, I love a good sample. Okay. And then, uh, oh, I forgot. I got this perfume. I'm such a rose scent girl. Very fresh. It smells so good. So I got this. I forgot that I ordered this. MAC lip gloss. So I'm happy that this came because I wanted to try it. It's been sold out. Oh, I got this hat, baby. This hat was calling me okay this hat what is it fifty dollars i think this hat was like fifteen dollars macy's had a sale this hat baby i can't wait to wear this it's so cute mac lip gloss i always loved mac lip gloss i remember back in the day my step cousins used to be like no you need to wear oyster girl and see-through and those were the two go-to lip glosses that i used to wear of course the mac clear lip gloss was a go-to as well but yes what did I get? Is this Oyster Girl? What did I get? Focus, focus. Yep, that is Oyster Girl. So pretty. And then, oh, the free gift. Oh, this is cute. This is the free gift. And it was just a little makeup pouch. It's really soft. This is cute. Thank you guys for the free gift. Thank you, Macy's. I really do not feel like setting up the tripod and doing like a real unboxing. I thought these packages aren't coming until tomorrow. But yeah, we're early. So, ASICs. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Okay, so I got these fall ASICs. Something to just chill, lounging, kick it in, like with some cute joggers. Let me show y'all these in the light. So here they go. Here they go. They're nice and comfy. I really love the colors. Definitely giving fall and winter swag. So I do like that. Yeah, they're super comfy. With some cute little socks, some joggers, some cute jeans, jacket. Let me see if I can set it up. 
I'm going to keep it 100. I didn't think I was going to be feeling these, but they actually look a lot better in person and on my feet. I really like these fall and winter colors, and they're super comfortable. Okay, so this is the stuff that I got from ASOS. I got some more packages coming, too. I got some stuff from Old Navy, Nordstrom's. I ordered some other kit pumps that are really cute from Avenue because they have wides. Baby, I got orders coming, okay? So, I have some pants. I don't think these going to fit. I'm hoping for the best, but UK sizes do run a little big. So, these actually might fit. But, they're also tall girl friendly. So, that's a plus. But also, I got, I got some loafers because I needed like a really cute, you know, like day-to-day -day flat. But something that was still like a casual that I can dress up. But on a day that I don't want to wear heels. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a cute flat. I thought these was real cute. Cute jeans. Cute little like crop blazer. You know what I'm saying? Gold accessories. So, hopefully these fit. These are wide foot friendly. So, yeah. Hopefully these fit. And I think this is a purse. So, I'll show you all this stuff. In yeah, this is a purse. And I stepped out my box and got... Burgundy. I wanted to get the black, but I said, you know what? Step out of your box because black is so black, girl. Go with the next color. So there was this plum burgundy looking color, and I thought this was cute for the fall. And I really got this purse because I was loving the side cargo pockets of the purse. So it feels good. It don't feel cheap. It don't feel cheesy. It don't look cheesy or nothing. Oh yeah, come on, ASOS. But ASOS always for the win. I've been shopping on ASOS for years, and they never disappoint i probably had two disappointments out of 100 so baby thank god i got some other loafers coming that i ordered from tori because baby these is tight look at me baby my toes is all kind of you see that toes all kind of bunched up okay but i think these were cute i definitely need to go up a size so i'm gonna look online i'm gonna have to return these i'm gonna look online sometime this week i'm I'm actually tired of shopping. Ooh, baby. I had to release them Michael Jackson's, baby. They was tight, okay? But they are really, really cute. These are really, really cute, baby, but they are a little bit too snug. I'm gonna have to go up a size. Okay. This is a return as well. Okay, but about these ASOS pants, baby, when I say tall girl friendly, definitely tall girl friendly. Now, they're not as loose in the thigh as they were on the model and as I wanted them to be. But these fit really, really good. Let me see if I can show y'all right quick. These are so cute. They fit really, really good. I really like these. I wanted them to be just like an inch looser in the hip and thigh area, but they only went up to a 16. So, yes. Come on, a sauce. Bam, bam, bam. Now you can really see the bag, baby, what it's hitting for and what it do. This bag is so pretty. It's perfect for the fall and winter season. I love the cargo side pocket. Cargo pocket one, cargo bag pocket two. Oh, this is from Topshop. Okay from asos.com but this is a top shop item as you can see this bag is beautiful okay i got one two i got two and a half outfits in my head already because the half outfit in my mind is gonna hit but i don't know if it's gonna hit once i put it together but baby this is cute look at me get my little fall and winter season stuff together i never do this like ever and this is what I love even more. I took the paper out of the bag and it holds its shape. Let me show you. There's no paper in the bag and it still holds its shape. Look at that. It's not sinking in. It's not denting in. The bag still holds its shape, baby. I love this already. I can't wait to wear this. I don't have the hat on all the way, so don't mind that. But baby, this hat is cute, okay? Look at the gold detail, black and white. Look, you, baby, this, look, okay? Yeah, it's giving a little 90s, little Janet Jackson, little something, something. You know what I'm saying? I want to wear this for a cute one piece. A cute, 
black or gray like blazer type jacket with I think with my slouch square toe boots I'm seeing the visual but the hat is a little snug which I love but also I can only do like a uh, either like a um also that means I can only do like a low bun or my natural hair flat ironed or something but baby this is cute I, this hella cute just look go Nelly. <laughs> Okay, so I have my return label printed, packed onto my ASOS bag and ready to drop off at a location. And then the shoes that I got from Macy's, I'm actually going to go to Macy's and drop them off because I want to start the return process ASAP. And I kind of just want to look around and see what I can see. So, yep. Off to the mall we go. 2,000 years later. Hey y'all, so, so many hours later, I am in the car about to go do these returns. I got one box that's going to Macy's and then I selected the drop box location for this ASOS package. And yeah, let's go do that. I got my Suja Ginger Love. That is bae, I love it. Ginger Love is so good. It's also for me, it's kind of like a really good meal replacement. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna be gone. So I'll try to like bring a snack or something with me, but this is a good meal replacement. I think because the lemon ginger and the cayenne pepper that's in here, it kind of like, I don't know, like not, I don't want to say it burns, but it do got like a little bite, little sting on it. You know what I'm saying? And it drops down into your stomach and it'll make you kind of be like, I'm really not that hungry. It'll kind of hold you over. This is only 15 calories. I don't know, I love these, okay? One of these in the store is like $5, but at Costco, there's a six pack for $11.99 or $12.99. So I buy two of these at a time and then I'll have 12 days worth. So, and I really love these. I like them, so. Go Suja. Suja, sponsor your girl. What's up with it? What's going on, Suja? How you doing? How you living? Hey, happy business. Continue to grow. Continue to strive. Push forward. But yeah, sponsor your girl. I'm a ginger love mommy. I love Suja cold press juices. They're so good. I got three faves right now. And I just keep them in rotation. Look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't start touching nothing, Suja. This is perfect the way it is. Okay? But yeah, let me drop these off. And I'm going to holler at y'all when I get on the freeway baby when i say i am over here lost i do not see a drop box or a location that i can go into a building to the drop box i think i'm just gonna go to a regular ups location i don't know why they had me do a specific location i've never done this before anytime i've had to re why can't i talk right now Anytime I've had to return an item to ASOS, I never had to pick a drop location. It was just like, go to a UPS. So, I don't know. I'm just going to drop it off and they'll get it. One day I was walking by with a walkman on. When I caught a guy, give me an awkward eye. I look at the slim shady. Hotter than a set of twin babies. It's okay, go with him, Haley. That crisp air feels so good. It feels better than the AC. Just the fall air. It's so crispy, so breezy, and so refreshing. I love it. When I say Eminem and Dre was gassing bar for bar, and Eminem was like crazy, like, if you mom, you know, like, do what I want, whatever, it's stupid. Like, he was like in that era, you know what I'm saying? Just young, talking shit, and with this shit, you know what I'm saying? Eminem was my dude, bar for bar. I probably was like 14 when that song came out. I used to be knocking that. I remember when Eminem did the BET Awards, and I think it was, hi, my name is Ficky Ficky Slim Shady. And was it BET? It might have been MTV. It might have been the MTV Awards. And it was hella Eminems, just white tees and blonde hair. And it was hell of them. And I was like, what the hell is this? I love it. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was so tight. But, um, yeah, I just want to have a self-care chat with my fellas and my girls. If you want a physical self-care, but you can't find the consistency or the discipline in it, or you just can't seem to find a good flow that works for you, I just want to share with you a couple of tips that you can take 
with you, right? So anything that you do, any form of self-care, whether it's mental, physical, financial, emotional, spiritual, whatever it is, is going to take a mental shift. That's just what it is. You're going to have to divorce, separate, end the relationship with your old mindset, and deposit a new mindset. Build a relationship with a new one, right? So my thing is why I say everything everything with me is self-care and having fun during the elevation process. That's really how I live my life. Show up in fun. So instead of just saying, oh, I got to go to the gym today, that was a drag out. Just like, okay, I'm going to get up. I'm going to the gym. Don't put pressure on yourself when you're talking about working out. Don't put pressure on yourself on your way to the gym or when you get inside of the gym. Don't worry about looking stupid. Don't worry about what the person next to you is doing. You going to the gym for you. You getting in your bag for you. So mind the body and the business that pay you and invest in you. And once again, baby, that is you, okay? Self-care is a self thing. That self thing is a you thing. Even with staying consistent with working out, don't focus on numbers. I don't focus on numbers. I don't like to look at birth dates and goal dates and I got 30 days to do this because that can lead to disappointment when you're not setting a realistic fitness routine for yourself when you are rushing things to get to this certain date and if you don't meet that date that goal weight or them inches you want to have off or the weight that you want to gain or lose you end up losing faith you losing confidence you kind of like whatever it don't be working anyway but did you really go full throttle in what you was doing on this goal date did you really eat right as well or did you only work out were you having one too many cheat days you know what i'm saying don't go in thinking about numbers don't go in looking at that that's how i work out I work out and I think about it just an overall thing of self-care, right? Without good health, how you gonna get to the wealth? You know what I'm saying? How you gonna get up and go get money? Especially if you have a job. I'm a little bit all over the place. You wanna make sure that you're taking care of yourself. You're stretching, you're moving your body. So that's what fitness is all about. Don't go in trying to look like somebody. Worry about doing what you need to do. Get your shape in shape, whatever that may be, and then keep your shape in shape. And when you think like that, it's like, wow, so get my shape and shape. If I get to the body I want to be, cool. And then I got to maintain it. Hey, this is a lifestyle thing. This is a long-lasting lifestyle. That's what will help you better, like, with your fitness and showing up for yourself consistently. You know what I'm saying? Don't go in. Also, go in with a fun mind. Go in with just kind of like, just how you getting ready for brunch. Get ready like that for the gym. If you got to turn up your music, you got to dance a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get into your zone. Get your song. Get your playlist going. Throw that new active wear set on. Whatever. Whatever you got to do to set your tone to get ready. Like you would go, go out to brunch. Go out to dinner. To go on a date with him. Or getting ready to take her out. You know what I'm saying? Put that same energy into yourself. Show up and have fun during your elevation process. You have to mentally have fun as well. Not just physically. You know what I'm saying? So, and also another thing that I do when it comes to physical self-care, have a why attached to what you're doing. Because everything in life, you need a why attached to it. Why are you working out? If you have a solid why that is tailored to you, you will continue to show up for yourself consistently. If I'm working, I'm working out to get payback for him. I'm working out to stun on him. Yeah, that's not a valid why. That's not a why that's going to stick long term that's not a why that's going to stick for a lifetime you know what i'm saying something that is valid something that is going to keep you consistent something that is going to get you up and going when you notice okay this day three i ain't been to the gym in two days let me get up and go get to it you know what i'm saying look baby chase that feeling okay i'm all about chasing that feeling i that's why i work out i work out because it makes me feel good it it makes me happy, you know what I'm saying? It's lit to me, like I said, health is wealth, wealth is health, and it's lit. I always have a good time when I'm showing up and getting to the bag, you know what I'm saying? I don't drink coffee, so I love the natural energy that it gives me. I love how it gets my mindset going with ideas and just me being open to do more things. Baby, I love looking good naked, and I love to just keep my shape in shape, you know what I'm saying? I love to add hours, days, minutes, and seconds on to my life. Investing in yourself is something you will never regret in life. You will never regret investing in yourself. You know what I'm saying? So take care of yourself physically. You won't even have you don't you don't even have to have body goals. 
just being in good health and being mobile and flexible, baby, that's a lifestyle that everybody wants to live. You don't want to be hunched over at 50, 60, and 70. You know what I'm saying? You want to be up walking straight in your right mind. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of mine, I'm finna start reading daily. I'm going to set aside time to where I read. You know what I'm saying? Starting off with 15 minutes of concentration, phone off. If I got to park in a marina, sit at the park, read whatever I need to do. Sit in my car. I need quiet time. I'm going to start off with 15 minutes. And I am going to add more time onto that. You know what I'm saying? So that I don't have dementia or anything like that. I feel like exercising your mind. I remember my grandpa, man, he rest in peace. He used to do puzzles, just little crosswords or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But he never got dementia, all time or nothing. When I say he was in his right mind and he remembered everything. And even when it started to slip a little bit in his 90s, it was like a scale of one to 10, him knowing everything at a 10. He probably slipped to about an eight. Hell, I'm at a goddamn seven, eight right now. I mean, I done forgot some stuff. I done, you know what I'm saying? I be forgetting. So that's, that was just normal. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dang, I want to be like that. My grandpa had all his real teeth. He had a full hairline. He still had one gold tooth in the front. He remembered everything, was driving, washing his own clothes, wiping his own ass, cooking, everything. You know what I'm saying? So. Like I always say, I'm really big on that and I mean that. Show up for yourself, self-care for yourself and have fun during the elevation process. Exercise this beautiful blessing on earth that we all have called time and invest it into yourself, okay? The only care you should be given, baby, is a self-care. Anything else, baby, that you cannot change, baby, ain't gonna do nothing but withdraw from you. Oh yeah, the devil love that. He love a good withdrawal, good stand still, wanna push back. Don't give him that. Stand on your toes, walk in your standards, Set your boundaries and stand on them. Show up for yourself. Have fun doing the elevation process. Don't judge nobody. Mind the body and the business that pay you, baby, and that's you, okay? That's a Nelly's Life recipe. That's how I get out with me, and I'm just sharing it with you. Go ahead and give it a try, baby. It ain't gonna take away from you. It's only gonna add to you. Promise you that, okay? <laughs> Look, I done pulled up to the mall. Let me uh, park the car and get on up in here. 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 Yeah. Come on now, Tesla. The Tesla cute. That was cute. I could tell she just got it washed too. Sparkling and shining. Thought I seen a little when the lights hit the ice. It when the light hit the ice, it twinkle and glisten. These are hella cute. Baby, my leg and wide foot could never, okay? That's all right. I'm gonna have these custom made one day. Them hella cute. Oh, they got pink too? I like this pink. I can't try no coat on, baby, because I'm up in here with a sports bra and a jean jacket on. Didn't put a cami on or nothing. But I came in here to look at the coats. That's the weird part. Okay. I will find me a corner and try one of these coats on if I see one I really like. Come on, guess. I used to love me a good guest coat, baby. Look, I still get one too. 50% off. Okay. We love 50% off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They about to get it together now. I'm over here hopping over stuff. And... This is so pretty. Look at this bag. I can't try it on because it's locked up, baby. But it is pretty. It smells good, too, baby. I love new bag smell. But I like new car smell. I love new shoe smell. It smells so brand new, so fresh. That bag is cute, baby. I want to try it on. They got the new one too, but yeah, it ain't hitting like that black. This is pretty too. So fun fact about me, I never stopped wearing Michael Gore. <laughs> now it done went down, girl. Right when I come out of Macy's, baby, the siren's going off. I'm like, where is this coming from? I look out the rear view, baby, the sheriffs and the police mobbing okay red and blue lights on flashing 
foot on the gas, nothing less. So I'm riding around, I'm like, what's going on? Who they going to get? Look, there they go. I'm like, who they going to get, right? Somebody that stole and did something, they still speeding through. Baby, I go to, I go to get in the car. As I'm riding past the mall, I look to the left. I'm like, who they chasing? I know it ain't that little burgundy Nissan. It wasn't a Nissan. They were slowing down because I got up a little bit. I see somebody running. It looked like a dude. Had on a green shirt, some black pants, and a red beanie. He ran right into the mall. Look at everybody just a looking. We like, what's up? What's what's the lick? What's the, what's tea? I mean, we got the tea. They ain't even worried about me, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my seatbelt on because I don't want no smoke. The boys is out, okay? Well, tis the season to be jolly, I guess. Around here thieving and still, now what you jumping in front of me for? The boys is out and you jaywalking. You lucky they got bigger fish to fry and they ain't worried about us. Look, the helicopters is out. What did he steal? He looked young too, running. I mean, this is just, man, all this thieving. It's grown folks in the mall. They trying to spend their money on their grandkids and nieces and nephews. Treat themselves, treat the kids. Take advantage of all these pre-Black Friday sales that's going on. And somebody just running through the mall. Look, I, I just came to do a little return and end up giving me a little makeup. That's, that's all. This is... Tis the damn season. Mm. Mm -mm. Look, y'all take care. Stay up, be easy, and be on the lookout. Take care of yourself. Watch your surroundings by all means. Because he could have jumped in the car and hit the gas. I was looking for the car. I thought the car was finna come. I'm like, he ain't finna T-bone me. I'm about to pull a smooth over. Oh, no. Mm-mm. No, no, no. Trying to get away with a couple hundred dollars of merch. Oh, no. You ain't finna T-bone me and take my life. No, baby. So I was looking for the car, but when I seen the boy running the mall, I said, oh, he on foot. They on the foot chase. They got the mall surrounded. Every entrance and every exit. They ain't playing with him. Yeah. Tackle him down, and I hope he don't do nothing stupid. Just go on ahead and go with the boys. They got your cornered and surrounded at every angle. Go on with the boys. You know what you did. Go on ahead on and sit down. Do your little time, baby. Do your little time. Whatever. That, it ain't worth it. You ain't got to fight back. I hope. I just hope it don't go left. <sighs> Let me stop because I, I get emotional. I, I don't even want to. Mm, mm, mm. He looks so young. He looks so young. It's time for me to go on home. I was going to go in H&M. They got H&M surrounded. Every entrance and every exit. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get on up in here. It's, it's time for me to go home. Time for me to go home. I'm going to take it on in. It's starting to sprinkle anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, she cute with her little bangs. Come on, bangs. She's a tall Chinese girl, too. She got to be about 5'8". One thing I'm going to do, heavy, I'm going to keep on applying the lip gloss, okay? Look, as needed. Okay, let me do a quick Trader Joe's haul with y'all because I only got like five items. One day, I'm going to do a real Trader Joe's haul and really show y'all how I'm done. I've been shopping at Trader for about 15 years now. But, yeah, I know all the good snacks to get. Everything. So, I got some green grapes because I'm going to make some sherbet garlic hummus baby fire so got some more of that i got some brussels sprouts i got some crumble feta cheese with herbs this is really good i'm gonna keep it 100 you can't really taste the herbs so the regular feta is fine but something about them herbs just make me be like oh so good i can taste the difference okay <laughs> You know, we got in that same little herb in it. I'm like, oh, fancy. And then I got some of my go-to vanilla protein powder that I put in all of my shakes, especially for my breakfast smoothie. I sh have I shared the breakfast smoothie? I probably did about a year ago on the vlog. Some stuff I just do and I don't think to record, but 
Hey, since I said my prayer, I've gotten a lot better and it's held me accountable with showing up. So, yes, honey. So, that's my little small Trader Joe's haul. Like I said, I'm going to do a real Trader Joe's haul and really go like full detail. That video will probably be 20, 30 minutes. Really full detail of like good snacks, the food I get, what tastes good with what, seasonings, everything. So, yeah, I'm out. I'll see y'all at the house. So the grapes are now individually washed. They are peeled, they're clean, and they're ready to freeze. Hopefully they are frozen within the next two hours after my dinner. I don't eat after 7, 7.30 at the latest. But if not, I can just make my little sherbet tomorrow and that'll be in another vlog. Oh yeah. These. Yeah, these right here, baby. These chicken and veggie dumplings. These are really, really good. Six of them are six for 130 calories. These are really, really good. So Trader Joe's, baby. So I came home from Trader Joe's, cleaned my grapes, put them in the freezer because I wanted them for a snack after dinner. Went back outside, dropped off my package to get shipped back to the ASOS warehouse because I need my refund. Came home, made some dinner. At this time, it was about 6.30 and I was craving a salad. I remembered I had two pieces of bacon in the refrigerator, so... I had cooked those real quick with some shrimp and made a shrimp bacon salad. This was so good. A little bit of feta cheese. I drizzled some truffle oil on top of this salad with some black pepper and it was so good. These are the lip glosses that I got from Macy's. And yeah, I washed some clothes, took my shower. I organized my makeup boxes, threw some old makeup out and just chilled for the rest of my night. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love when I do unexpected vlogging. I woke up this morning and decided to vlog and this ended up being a 48 minute vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed me, my personality, my life recipes, my self-care gems. You got some motivation, some inspiration. You smiled, you laughed, and this put you in good spirit. If you made it to the end of this video, comment down below. We made it. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I'll talk to you guys on the next one.